Monsoon storms were popping up all over the valley from Peoria to Cave Creek to Chandler. And our crews were out storm chasing all evening long and CBS 5's Greg Argos joins us live in North Phoenix with more tonight, Greg. See, you know, we've been chasing those storms like you mentioned all evening long in our CBS 5 live truck. These storms, they started north of us uh, here in North Phoenix and really all the evidence that's left are just some puddles throughout the area. But after making their way through North Phoenix, they headed due south into Chandler. First, there was the lightning, then the thunder, followed by, of course, the rain. At times coming down in sheets throughout Cave Creek and then traveling down the 101. It's as nice as refreshing. Driver Bradford Brown didn't mind the showers, but on the roads, he made sure to keep his eyes peeled for drivers that were uneasy taking on this weather. Uh, other uh, drivers you have to be a little more cautious of. You know, people aren't used to driving in this kind of weather. Ron O'Hara spotted the showers from his office. I was at work in North Scottsdale, and uh, it was raining, then it let up. I knew I had to go south and it was coming south, so I figured ah, I'll make a stop. I had to stop for gas. But then he caught the tail end of the storm. Just following it down, man. Just don't want to be in the middle of it. But... Give it another few minutes to be in Chandler and then, you know, so just ease your way behind it. And that's exactly where the storm headed, due south into Chandler, making quite the lightning show, but just west, creating quite the sunset. And unlike last night's monsoon storms, the great news this evening is that there have not been any serious reports of damage. Now, in our uh, in our Valley Pinpoint Forecast Center, we have Chief Meteorologist Chris Dunn with a look at the rest of your forecast. Chris.